God damn. So Zelda's learned how to sit. Ooh. We've, we've made ste- we've made progress. Getting there. You yeah. had a, you had another Tony moment. Oh, what happened? No, when you said your thingy went out, it was oh. it was another Tony moment. That's more like a James moment. No. At least I smoked my shit back up, so. <laughs> Shots fired. See, I learned to keep my mouth shut. What, what scar did you pick up at Wildbills this morning? <clears throat> None. Uh, not a single one. This is the Cracks Golf Podcast Whiskey Review for the Week. That's Tony, James, I'm Corey, and we have pulled out the old Overholt 114 proof. Um, this is Doc Holliday's mm-hmm. whiskey of choice. This yep. is back in the day when he was around. This was he ordered this from Pennsylvania all the time. With See, Richard, uh, so. Now the funniest thing though is on the previous episode, mm-hmm. what were we drinking? Oh, the holiday. Yeah, Doc Holiday. <laughs> that's that's so weird. <laughs> I just I just put two and two together when you said that. So yeah. Well, it's, I want, okay, what are we going to have next? Yeah. And James looks over and he goes, Hol- uh. Old Overholt. So, like, okay. Okay. So this is a uh, on-the-nose oak, light nuttiness, cinnamon rye, uh, cinnamon and rye spice uh, with a dose of uh, ethanol. Uh, you should get oak cherry and fresh, break, fresh baked bread. I will never, ever fumble through that ever again. Uh, tobacco leaf and dried <laughs> leather, uh, cereal grain and rye. It is a, a heavy rye. Yes. Um, and we like this heavy rye. The, it, it's the rye that you want on a rye whiskey. Yeah. And it does well with water. Um, it's 114. You can mm-hmm. proof it down pretty good with, with a couple drops of water with it. So, uh, But this was brought to my attention um, from a friend of mine um, named Ryan. Um, this is his favorite brand. He's from Pennsylvania, and this is where they make it. So um, it's actually out of um, Jim Beam now. Jim Beam bought the, the rice. Oh, okay. And Jim Beam makes it. So, um, But I like this stuff. This is really good shit. And, um, no, I mean, there's not much left in the bottle. We have almost killed this bottle off. So we don't kill bottles. No, no, not at all. We have not killed a single bottle in this house at all. No, nope. I might have killed Mm-mm. one last weekend by myself, but <laughs> <laughs> so, it is 114 proof. So, uh, um, as far as whiskey reviews go, that's kind of a little bit of a heavier pour than we're used to on whiskey reviews. But the week we've had, it's it's okay. Yeah, so, it. I've just noticed that I've been pouring heavier now. Yeah, it's okay though. Like it. Not gonna bother me a bit. Twist my arm, drink whiskey on a Saturday with my friends. Not at all. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Uh, where do we have to go in the next twelve hours? No, not a fucking place. Well, actually, uh, in less than twelve hours, I'll be home. Mm-hmm. You hope anyway. Oh, yeah. Depending how the rest of the day goes. <laughs> like I, I, I truly do enjoy just breathing this in. Oh yeah, it's great. You get that real, real nice rye. No, yeah. right, right off rip. That's good. It is good, ain't it? Oh yeah. This is a rye. Yeah, it's that, every sense of the word, this is a rye. You get that mm-hmm. pepperiness to it. It is something I would take mm-hmm. on a Saturday night. Mm-hmm. Yeah. After parties. Yeah. yeah. Or before, during parties. Oh, you get tore up on this shit. It wouldn't take much. No. Because it's smooth. One thing that I've always wondered, though, is how would this be just slightly chilled? Ooh. We have ice cubes. We can can test it out between shows if you want to. But we have ice cubes and shit. Kenzie made ice cubes for us. Ooh. We have little skull ones. We have the big, huge, chunky, blocked ones I always used to make. And she, I came home one day, and she's like, I made ice cubes! I'm like, oh, thank you. We haven't ice cubes in forever. Yeah. So, well, I mean, we've usually done the stones. Just keep it neat. And, yeah. Yeah. It, so. If. But, you know, it. I, I think this would be really well chilled. Mm-hmm. I think if you. That letter like, might be going out. I'm going to have to be put fix it. Chilled and then uh, add rum chata to it. Rum. You want to add rum to that? Rum chata. The little white liquid. I don't know rum chata. Rum chata, I always thought it was just rum. I, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what rum chata is. Well, it's kind of like what he said, but it's kind of like a mix. Thing. Oh, okay. okay. Like a low proof look for kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. I mean, 
I think a st- the reason why I say ice yeah. is because, you know, it will dilute it a little bit. But I think it would be completely refreshing. Oh, yeah. This is good stuff. I like this stuff. I would take it on the back porch. Yeah. And be a Karen to your neighbors. And- <laughs> <clears throat> or be the Karen to the Karen that you have. Yeah. You don't, oh, God. You don't want to. <laughs> I mean, it... You dig. You do get the graininess on the back end, mm-hmm. but it it's what you want from a rye. Mm-hmm. Like truthfully, yeah, it is. Don't mind me. I'm just adding something. Okay. You guys keep talking. I mean, I'm happy with it. Oh yeah. Like when you went, oh, old overhaul. I went. Oh, oh, yeah, that's good. Okay. Okay, would you go ice cubes or ice chips? Ooh. Ooh. I think ice cubes would be better. Yeah. Yeah, be um Well I mean Because of the silk and the well. Alright, for uh science sake. Yeah. Get you a drop. I've never been good at just, just doing put a single fi- drop. Just put your finger over top of it. That's what I've been doing. I've never been good at the single drop. Yeah. Uh, with how much, I think I might do two. There you go. Yeah, that's good stuff. I like my, I like my stuff neat anyway. So especially high proof stuff. So. No, I, I barely diluted it. Mm-hmm. But if ice chips, it's going to melt a whole lot faster. Yeah. And adding just a little bit of water definitely brightens it. Mm-hmm. I mean, as you can see how much I poured myself. Yeah. Oops. I'm supposed to be the responsible one. Mm-hmm. Um, Made me sound like I'm a fucking juvenile delinquent, dude. <laughs> I it it didn't dilute it much. I, but don't, it, live, I don't live in James' house, so. Oh, wow. Wow. How, you're not his cousin? No. Or Nephew. Bro- or brother. Nephew. Relative. They're all under the well, yeah. They're all <laughs> under the age of twelve. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. I might do ice chips. Yeah. Could all bring them all to Corey's house because watering it down do that. just a hair, mm-hmm. you get more of the spice. Yeah. The leather kind of goes away. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But you do still get the cereal grain, and it is dry. Yeah. And what I mean by dry, it is where your mouth just kind of goes. It hits your tongue and then goes away. Mm-hmm. No aftertaste. Hardly any. No, I, I still get some of the rice spice. Yeah. A little but, bit of burn in the back. Mm-hmm. But not much. But after that, it's gone. Yeah. So That's good stuff. Yeah. On your question, I, I think I would do the ice chips. chips. Yeah. What you got over there? No, my nephew who shall never mind. My nephew messaged. Ah. But um yeah, I think I'd do chips in this, which is kind of um anathema to drinking. Yeah. Which is kinda of weird to say yeah. it like that. But hey. No, I like I we'll sit here with a big freaking ice block in my rocks glass and no, I mean pour over it and the, the reason why a lot of people don't like ice chips is because of how fast it melts. Yeah. And it doesn't get it as cold. Right. To where, you know, you're just watering it down, making it slightly... I used to go to the bar and ask for my shit to be chilled. And they'd fucking yeah. chill it. and It was always it was good. It was never the best. Yeah. I, would, I would do ice cubes. You'd do cubes? Yeah. Yeah. I used to keep my Crown Royal in the freezer. I used to do that with Jameson. Okay. But this was back when I first started drinking. Nobody didn't know any better. Oh, fuck no. <laughs> like 80 years ago? Sink like it. Fuck you. <laughs> well, it, in my family, it, uh, we really don't do liquor as much. Mm-hmm. My dad is a huge Makers fan. Because um, my dad. You know, but it's mostly beers. Yeah, same here. So... You know, I'm used to drinking the beer ice cold. Yeah. I like my I like my beer ice cold. Anyway. So, you know, when, when you think, oh, well, it's alcohol, mm-hmm. it has to be cold. Yeah. 
Not like a soda pop or anything like that. Yeah. Well, Christy, or, okay, so do you, you just answered. Do you like your beer cold or warm? Uh, depends it depends on the beer. Yeah, it depends on what you're drinking. Like, it, it really does. Like an English stout. Has to be you, warm. You have to drink that warm. If you drink it cold, it, it doesn't taste right. See, I don't like Bud Light cold. You don't like Bud Light. I'm not like a fan Bud. of Bud Light. I like Budweiser, like not like Bud. Bud Light. I like Budweiser cold. Yeah, Budweiser has to be cold. Yeah. Uh, as soon as it gets close to room temperature, it's not. Nah. It's skunky and it's horrible. But uh, High Life. I love High Life cold. Has to be ice cold. Like I, I've had High Life ice cold, mm-hmm. uh, slightly below room temperature, mm-hmm. and it's still good. Yeah. Um, we, we get it so cold in our family that it'll, when you pour it, it just foams. Oh yeah, it's so good. You can crack the top and it'll foam out. Of it. Well, the little refrigerator I have out in the garage, it gets so cold that when you crack one, it just foams up out of the bottle. It's so nice. Now the real question: mm-hmm. can or bottle? I'm always bottle. I don't drink cans. I have can. We have cans because you brought, yeah. you brought cans that one time. We, we bought cans and we just, I just still have the cans. But I've always been a, a long neck bottle drinker. So now, if it's can, it has to go into a glass. Yes. My dad's the same way. He gets aluminum issues with drinking out of can. It, it, it's almost like a slight burn or something. Yep. It, it's really odd to say it like that, mm-hmm. but that's how it feels like. Yeah. Um. But you know, I I don't need to pour a bottle into a glass. Yeah. To defeat the purpose. Yeah. Okay, bottle or out of the tap. Ooh, if you can find high life. Draft, I'll drink draft all night long. But it's hard to find a draft. Yeah. That's why I usually drink MGD because you can get it. I think, draft. I think yeah. tapped beer is gross. Ooh, that might be fight words. Now, back in the day, I would drink Coors Light off tap. That was way back in the day. Yeah. I grew up. Yeah, a little bit. Rate it! You want to rate this? Yeah. Okay, um. On the skull scale. Which will have a little blurb. It'll show up on the screen right about here. Or now. Yep. All depends. Yep. This general area. Corey, you're going to go first. I'm going to go first. Uh, it's three and a half. Three and a half? Yeah. I like Old Over. Obviously, I bought the bottle. It's been here for, for almost the entire time we've done the show. Um, kind of shocked we haven't killed it yet. Yeah, I know, right? It's, it's, it's high proof. It's, <laughs> yeah, no shit, right? Um... <laughs> But it's something we don't really go to. I mean, it's it's really good when you really want a rye, mm-hmm. and it's every rye note that you want. It's everything you want out of a rye. So it's only three point five. Three point five. Yeah, three and a half. Yeah. yeah. You wouldn't rate it higher. I have other ryes I like a little bit more than this, but I like this. I like this stuff. So okay. I like that Hainer rye is really good. Fuck yeah, it is. See, <laughs> see, I always mention that Rainer um, Hainer rye. I'm staring at the bottle right now. Yep. That it's small, different. small little bottle that we can't get anymore. Oh, that that. Franklin B. Rye. Yeah, oh, good, my God. That's really good stuff. I think I rated that a four last time we had it. So. I think it was like four or four and a half. I think so, yeah. So that's. But I like old oil. I like the story behind it. I like I like the history behind it. So it's, it's in touch with history, and I like history. So. Yeah. James. James. Get out of my head. <laughs> um, Sorry. Considering the week that it's been. Yeah. Uh, or two weeks. Um, and I just said I would take it after party. Mm-hmm. And I, I would give it a five. Really? God damn. That's the highest we've had. I would, the highest he's had. I would. Damn. Okay. Uh, a it's, ride. Dude, it's less than 30 bucks. You could have this at the house. We have it up here in town. That's it, where I got it. It was a stressful week. Mm-hmm. Two weeks. Yeah. And... Just sitting outside at a bonfire. Yeah, five. Fuck yeah. There you go. Wow. I, I, think, was a good... he, I think he found a benchmark where he can yeah. count off of now. So Yeah. Wow. I... Thanks. You're welcome. No, we've been waiting for you. We, we're we not going to press you to, to no, find, no, you no, find no. your own happy spot. Where you're... Yeah, that, uh, that bonfire. Yeah. Okay, so now, now we can start. Yeah. Now, now, now that we, have, we know we where a, a five is for, for him. him. Yep. Now we can dial in, you know, the various whiskeys, bourbons, ryes. A little bit of scotch. Yeah. Yep. Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm happy with this being a four. Mm-hmm. Because it is that rye you want. Mm-hmm. 
It, it is everything oh, yeah. in a rye that a rye drinker wants. Save for... The, the rye could be more pronounced. Yeah, it could. Like, that, that is the only thing that I can knock it down it's a It's there, but it's like, it's... It, it's like, hey, yeah, I'm a rye. It's giving you a little kiss on the cheek, like, I'm here. Yeah. But it's not, like, smacking you in the face, like some of the other ryes we've had, so... Well, some of the... This is a good rye. Mm-hmm. This is a good night on rye. Yes, it is. Not like some of the weak ryes that we've had. Oh, there's been some rough ones. Yeah, there has. But yeah, I'm I'm comfortable with a four. Yeah. If, cool. If you got if it, the scale went higher and there was ice with it, I would give it a six. But that's not allowed. So. No, but that's we base everything off of what we have in front of us. So if yeah. you want to do, if you if you want to get buck wild after a while, we'll get ice out. And you can try it yeah. with ice. So it's it's not a problem. We yeah, have just glasses and stuff. So leave it, it where it is, and we'll yeah. go get ice. Yeah. It, it it's like a dress reliever mm-hmm. so yeah it, it it's one of those to where you drink it you know that you are drinking something yeah something good like can you tell that it's high proof eh but i think that's the the beauty of it but but i think that's what a rye is when you mm-hmm. when, when i think of rye i'm thinking of you know this is going to go whew. yeah like i can still feel a little bit on the on the back end yeah i it no, some of the really high proof bourbons that we've had, you know, sometimes you just go, huh? Yeah, that one thirty from Hainer we had two weeks ago. Oh my god, I, I wish Greg would get me a bottle. Mm-hmm. Greg, if you watch this, we need with that one thirty. <laughs> I'll pay. Yeah. All right, send it home, James. No, wait, send it home. I, I, I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm I'm memorizing. Okay, well, uh, I guess that's uh, the whiskey review for the week. That's Corey. That's James. I'm Tony. 